In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to edit any videos that you find on YouTube or your own videos that you recorded on the flip camera. First thing you want to do is go to filelab.com. Looks like this right here, file and then the word lab. When you get here, you're going to click on the file lab video editor launch now button and that will take you into the video editor. What you have down here is a timeline where you can add any JPEG images that you've made in Photoshop as well as videos that you've downloaded from YouTube and videos you've recorded from the flip camera. In order to add the media to the timeline, the best way to do it is to add it in order from your storyboard. So I'm going to go to Add File, go to my student drive into my folder where I've saved everything, and first I'm going to add an image. So first image was Talking One. Okay, and next thing I'm going to do is add another image. So what I have here is taking, adding some color from one word to the next. Okay, and I only want each of these to run for about two seconds. So I'm going to take my mouse and move the slider down to two seconds for each of those. And I have one more picture to add, my third talking picture. And again, I'm going to slide my slider down to two seconds. So that's going to show for about six seconds total. Next, I'm going to add my video that I want to play at the end of this. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and hit play and watch my three images. You can see it move, um, the red move from each word. Okay, before I keep going, what I'm going to do is go ahead and watch my video and I want to hit pause and move my slider where I want my video to actually start. I'm going to end up cropping out the first three or four seconds of the video. So I'm going to hit play and try to hit pause right about where I want my video to start. Okay, I missed. So I'm going to go back and I believe this is right about where I was ready to start. Okay, so now this is where I want my video to start. So in order to remove the part that I don't want, I'm going to hit the split button. And then that just made my video into sections. So now I'm going to click on the section I want to get rid of and click the remove button. Perfect. Now my video should be exactly the way I want it. I'm not going to waste your time and go through the whole thing again, but now you would want to watch your whole video. Make sure it's good to go. Um, you can add any video effects if you would like. And since I am all done, ready to go, I'm going to click Make Movie in the upper right. And I'm going to name my video and choose the file that I want my video to go into, which was the file that you've created in your student drive where you've put all your other materials. And then click Convert, and your video will be converted and saved to the folder.